across here. This is one of three weapons space designed that we have in China. We call it butter stuff. This uh, particular airplane, it just has a lot of the local people here in Oshkosh know some of the characteristics of this airplane, and it's almost, uh, it's almost unbelievable the performance that this airplane has when uh, steam built it many years ago. This is the, uh, this buttercup. The only other existing buttercup is in the museum here in Oshkosh, so there's Whitman Hangar. And through numerous pictures of the old buttercup, phone calls, and taking his own measurements, the buttercup has been resurrected. This replica of the late 1930s, uh, His name is Buttercup. Since no plans for the original were ever created, Earl Lucy has uh, resurrected the Buttercup to its south uh, without any plans more than 60 years after her first flight here in our state. We're welcome to fly out here today. Earl has this airplane here. The, uh, uh, it bears a striking resemblance to the Whitman uh, Buttercup, pictured for uh, it. We'd like to go to the museum. Steve has a lot of these airplanes over there. It's just a wonderful thing. It's over where we call Pioneer Airport in the Whitman Hangar over there. I'd say it's a reference to this late, it's in the late 1930s when he built this airplane. And it's, Steve won a lot of bets with his ability to take off and land in a very short distance. I forget what the number Steve had an 85 Continental in this airplane when he built it. I see Sammy Allen then. Uh, and he, uh, he told me, I think he told me it was cruising over 140 miles an hour with that 85 horsepower engine. Jack Cox, uh, I had the pleasure of going through that museum when it first opened with Jack Cox and Ken Brock and the knowledge those two gentlemen had and uh, what was told about all of Steve's airplanes. I wish Jack was here because he could tell you a lot more about this airplane. It is just a very, very uh, efficient airplane and efficient was what all of Steve's airplanes was. The tailwind was one of the, uh, talked about 50 years ago, Get down in Rock today, that was one of the most uh, uh, thought after most built. And uh, the airplane, these sold on plans back then, they were really expensive. They were $125 plans. Uh, the Buttercup was